This multi seed sourdough bread is one of the tastiest and at the same time one of the healthiest breads that we can make at home. It has more proteins and fibers in it and as it is made with sourdough starter it has a unique flavor and it will also make our bread more digestible and more nutritious. So in this video let's see how to make this healthy sourdough bread. To add more proteins, soluble fibers and healthy fat to our bread, I'm using a mix of seeds. Here I've used sunflower seeds, sesame seeds, pumpkin seeds and flax seeds. Even though we get the fibers and lignans from this flax seeds, if we don't crush it, we will not get the full benefits of omega-3 fatty acids which is kept inside the flax seeds. So don't forget to crush it or grind it before we use in this bread recipe. Let's start preparing our bread dough. Into this bowl, I'm adding water, salt, the seeds, and some whole wheat flour. We can use other whole grain flours like rye or spelt, and bread flour. Stir and combine everything together, and make sure there are no dry patches left behind. Now I'm leaving it covered for around one hour. This will give some time for the dough to absorb the moisture and the gluten to develop and this will make the dough more elastic and extensible. It's been one hour, I'm going to add my starter. You can see it's bubbly and active. As we added our wild yeast into the dough, it will slowly start to get fermented from now onwards. We will try to build the gluten network during the first half of the fermentation. To develop the gluten, we will do three rounds of stretch and folds and one coil fold during the first three hours of fermentation. So cover it and leave it for 30 minutes. So it's been 30 minutes, I'm going to do the first stretch and folds. I'm dipping my hands in water to prevent the dough sticking to my hands. Stretch the dough and fold it onto itself. And then turn the bowl 90 degree and again stretch and fold the dough and do it on all four sides. Now cover it and let's do the next round after 30 minutes. It's been 30 minutes. Let's do one more stretch and folds. cover it and leave it for one hour. So it's been one hour. Let's do stretch and fold in a slightly different method. Let's stretch the dough to a thin flat sheet and then fold it. I've already prepared this pan by greasing it with some oil. Cover and leave it for one hour. 
So it's been one hour. Let me do a coil fold so that the dough will become more smooth and will also get some strength and tension and more shape. I'm now covering it and let the dough rest for until it will rise 50 to 60 percent in volume. So it's been another three hours or the bulk fermentation of around six hours and it's now ready for shaping. So I'm dusting the surface with some flour and then transferring it to a well flowered pork surface. Fold the dough from both sides and then from top to bottom. I'm pinching the sides to seal the ends and optionally we can cut the surface with some seeds. Transfer to a banneton. Stitch the seam to maintain a good surface tension so that the dough will get a good oven spring while baking. I'm leaving the dough covered at room temperature for one more hour so that the fermentation will smoothly continue to occur. Now it's been one hour, let the rest of the fermentation occur inside the fridge. So keep it in the fridge for 12 to 24 hours. This will help to develop that unique sourdough flavor. So it's been 18 hours in the fridge. Our bread dough is now ready to go into the oven for baking. So place it into a preheated Dutch oven or a covered oven safe glass vessel like this. I'm scoring the top with a sharp blade. And bake it at 480 Fahrenheit or 250C for 25 minutes and then reduce the temperature to 400 Fahrenheit or 200C and then bake the bread uncovered for 15 minutes. After baking, we'll get one of the best homemade breads. It smells amazing, it's super delicious, it has loads of chewy and tasty seeds and full of nutrients. It's packed with proteins, fibers, antioxidants, vitamins, good fat, and as it is made with wild yeast, it's easily digestible in our body. We feel so happy and satisfied, not only for the feeling of making the best for our family, but also the process of making sourdough bread is so therapeutic. I hope you will make this at home and I'm sure your family will love it too. If you don't have sourdough starter with you, it's so easy to make your own sourdough starter. You will need only two ingredients, some flour and water and a little bit of patience. And if you want to make your own sourdough starter, you can make it in 10 days. I've shared my method and also you will get a free sourdough starter feeding checklist, which you can print it out and can use it while you make your sourdough starter. You can download it for free. The link is given in the description box below. And thank you so much for your love and support. And thanks for watching this video. See you next time.